Cue the dramatic music. I took a recipe on how to make the Dumomo's gigantic. You heard me, charcuterie board in the entire world. And I ran that through Google Translate a whole bunch of times until it became something really weird. Now I have to follow exactly what Google tells me to do. Hey, how have you been? Am I in your personal space? No? Good. <laughs> it's super simple. I just take recipes, I run it through Google Translate, and it makes normally not what I want it to make. But that's Google Translate. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Don't look at me like that. Oh, that's how your face looks. Okay. okay. <laughs> Step one. I used most of a square table I found in the parking lot. Guess we're going shopping. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, hold on. No. Oh my goodness. I did not find a table. But what I did find was this ancient history of a chair. This will be our table because this is all I found. This thing is ancient Egypt. This thing is made of wicker in the sands of time. Hold on, let me go to the fridge real quick. I am so freaked out. You are very aggressive. I'm in a wheelchair. They see me rolling. It's almost turning into like a recliner. You know what? I think this is super creative. Charcuterie boards are normally just a bunch of stuff on top of a board. This is made of mostly board. Granted, it's probably from the Ark, Noah's, but it's a board. It smells like cat pee. That's probably why I was in the trap. Abbott family, if you are missing a cat peed wheelchair, I have it. We get in the video here. I, what a great chair. Oh my gosh, your face really is like that. <laughs> it's beautiful. And every single one. The world can't break. Key change. <laughs> Me. Step two, there's a small piece of furniture that needs to be added and mended. Oh, I know. I sat right through it. The wicker's all wonky. Don't worry, I have an idea. There was already a butthole, but a hole here when I stole it. Boom. Back support. I know you're thinking, Brandon, that's stupid. Look at this. Yeah, mean that, I don't care. Let's get into the meat and cheese of the stuff. I'm sure there's potatoes. Step three, the table you use today, knock on old, comes with a small hat as a gift. Oh, it does! Now that is hospitality. Were you in a hospital? You can customize your custom table as you wish, but usually it will do the following. There's a bunch. I'm just gonna go one by one. Boiled meats. <laughs> I bought an atrocious amount of meats. Why am I doing this? Great question. My girlfriend recently had surgery and she's at home recovering and her favorite food in the entire world is a charcuterie board. So as a good boyfriend, <laughs> I am not there, I'm here, making her a charcuterie board. So I'm gonna make it, and then she's gonna eat it, and then she's gonna be healed. It's the power of boiled meats, man. The term boiled meat sounds wrong, but I'm sure it is. This is uncured salami. Part time recovering too. I might need to be cured too if this chair possesses me, I don't know. Wooden chairs can't be possessed, right? Are you looking at me or are you looking, hey, Bring them over here. I bought pork chorizo because my girlfriend's Mexican and that's probably racist. She loves pork chorizo. She's never had it boiled. Oof. Hmm, reminds me of something. I also bought this pork turkey beef smoked sausage. It's like a turducken or a poor beater. Poor beater. <laughs> How's beater doing? He's still recovering. Poor beater. That is a huge piece of meat. There's no need for meat this size. And since it's summer, I bought this beef summer sausage. So good, they had to wrap it twice. Thrice? Do it just... Let's boil them meat boys in here. Yeah, oh God. I'm fine. That's a bunch of boiled meat. Do I have a double chin beard? Oh, this is no good. I need a meat ladle. <laughs> Is this like a really aesthetic shot? Looks like we didn't put all the meat in there, did we? <laughs> oh, young. I need like a cooking show saying, one that people will recognize. When they hear it, they think of me. Mmm, meat. <laughs> it's just nine M's and then meat. That really limits what I can cook on my cooking show, but I think it's mm, memorable. Mmm, that's meat. <laughs> Isn't this good luck? I think I have to pin it on the wall first. All right, y'all ready to order? What can I get started for you? Boiled meat, good choice. Next, the harder the meat, the better? Hard meat, okay. <laughs> I heard ya, okay? Loud and meat. Now we can set up our charcuterie chair. That has nothing to do with why there's a hole down there. Okay, get your mind out of the charcuterie. All right. 
Let's see what we have here. Okay, I won't touch the chair. Okay, so it is haunted. I gotcha, no worries. And now it's time to strain the meat. <laughs> if you weren't haunted before, you're haunted now. Boy, that's some good looking meat juice. We're gonna say, ow! We're gonna save the meat juice. It's like a treat. It doesn't quite matter where you put stuff as long as it looks good. Oh, that's a big boy. You should go in here. <laughs> I bet they didn't think a hundred years ago when they built this wicker butt chair that some ginger boy would be putting boiled salami on a toilet bowl lid. There's no way they knew. There's no way they knew I was gonna do this. I didn't even know I was gonna do this until this morning. I know you're thinking, Brandon, you're just making a mess. No, it's called creativity. Maybe you just don't understand. I'm bored of the normal little charcuterie boards. No, no, I want something epic like salami on the floor. Now we're just gonna kind of speed run through the rest of these olive and nuts. So one olive and then multiple nuts. This is probably the one time I agree with Google Translate. Just one olive is fine. I haven't had olives in like 10 years. What? That's why. Uh, I also bought mixed nuts because my girlfriend's Mexican and I'm uh, white and we're both a little crazy. Now my mind wants to just dump these everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I don't need them to go on the floor. I know what you're thinking. Brandon, that's a lot of nuts. And you're right, I mean, it is a lot of nuts. No, my meat log. Sorry about that. A Little bit of fruit. I'm just gonna keep these in their container. Then you can just grab it at Nilly's Willies. W at, grab at them willy nilly. Raisins. There's one thing my girlfriend hates, and that's raisins. So I try not to give her a raisin to have them. <laughs> Vaseline or Jerry? No. Jerry? No. I don't know if you're looking over here because you wanted... No. Okay. Look somewhere else and also another place because that's how your ass are going, Jerry. I'm glad you're here, Jerry. And when I'm done, you can have all the Vaseline you want, okay? Vaseline. <laughs> With that being said, a lot of people are exhausted. Hey, I get it, man. You're upset. Which is why I'm gonna do a little bit of ASMR, okay? Which just stands for as soon as Mark retires, okay? Which is a list of things that I plan on doing as soon as Mark retires. When Mark retires, <laughs> when Mark retires, I'm gonna drop this Vaseline mandate. My lips feel fine. You look exhausted, and so do your lips. Here. That's better. Let's get back to the video. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. No one will ever see that again. And I'm so excited that we got to see. Oh my gosh, did you not even see? I've made it much worse. Why didn't you tell me that this was an, an entire bad idea? The whole thing is in <laughs> What gets Vaseline off? What are you into? And then cheese is a good cheese, expensive meat. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Cheese is a good cheese, expensive meat. That sounds like a meme. That is my new line of merch, by the way. If this is not my new line of merch, call me out on it. Cheese is a good cheese, expensive meat. The next step, I like to drill little holes and make whittle noises. <laughs> That's exactly what it says. I like to drill little holes and make whittle noises. So do I. There's already a bunch of little holes in it, so I'm assuming whoever owned this first also liked to make whittle noises. And there was a big hole when I found it. <laughs> That's a waddle noises. This next step just says, cheese! So, like cheese, you can choose the meat you love. I went with some good quality peppers, a variety of salami, and sausages that I partially chopped. <laughs> good quality. Good quality peppers. I got Thai peppers because my girlfriend is uh, spicy. Oh, those aren't even. <coughs> I just bit the tip. There's a bucket down there. I, that's definitely. I spit in a bucket. Shut up. You're going back in the fridge. I'm not a fan of hot stuff, except for my girlfriend. But my girlfriend is. Hence why she's with me. <laughs> Jalapeno Vaseline. I think we've missed out on a huge opportunity, Vaseline. You're welcome. And sausages that I partially chopped, which I think is hilarious. This is the most unsatisfying thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of things. Got my accordion dogs. Sausages that I've partially chopped. Partially! I love partially. That looks pretty good. When I tell you that we have not even gotten started, you say ho. We haven't even gotten started. 
Man, you fall for anything, man. I'm, I'm for it. The next step, daddy. Excuse me. <laughs> da daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Excuse me. Da daddy. Frisk jogging in place for it. I feel stupid. <laughs> what is this? Huh? It's not a wire. It's my iron, I swear. <laughs> Also, please don't add prosciutto. Okay, we won't add prosciutto. I added prosciutto, didn't I? Can we keep it? Please, I'll feed it and eat it. <laughs> it's so hot in here. The trick is adding a second table. Like a bunk bed? <gasps> a charcuterie bunk butt board. Let's do it. Oh, if I have to suffer, so do you. Oh my goodness, there's two tiers to this beefcake. And if you eat too much of it, there'll be more than two tiers. Oh my goodness, a masterpiece. Wow, 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 big boy. Now that is a beefcake. It looks like a segue from the 1920s. Excuse me, sir. No. Nothing a little hard work and butt grease can't fix. Boom, good as old. The next step, take a look at my photo above. Huh, oh, yeah, gross. Toss well with the peppercorns and other salami pieces completely on board. Hey, Jerry, eyes up here. Okay, I used all the salami. Peppercorns completely on board. Well, it's good to know they agree with the plan. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Good? <coughs> Sorry, my sneezes were on board too. Get it? Because the sneeze on you got. Grand Chair, tell me a story about when you were young. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. I lightly wrapped some salami near the blue cheese as a joke. Good one. Pound it. Oh, your nuts dropped. <laughs> I don't have any more salami. I found some blue cheese. Guys. We're gonna put the blue cheese next to the salami. It's gonna be a great prank. <laughs> prank. <laughs> what a dumb joke, says the guy whose entire video has been dad puns and sat on the table in a descriptive manner. Hmm, violently is a descriptive manner. <laughs> the unicornado strikes again. Did I do this? Boom, oh. good as new. Okay. I'm making wine on the floor. I don't know if you can tell. Now that some of the meat has been sorted, uh-huh, I added colored dried rice in my favorite shape. What a unique way to use rice. My favorite shape is a tesseract. Shut up. I'm gonna do one of those rice throws where you throw it up and then you see the design in slow motion. It was upside down, wasn't it? I can do it again. Is this how I did it? I don't remember. That was a heart. That was a mess. Didn't go anywhere on my charcuterie board. That's actually pretty sweet. Berries and grapes to my table. English and words to my second language. Jerry? My girlfriend loves grapes, hates raisins. You keep, I don't know. Here you go, Jerry. Uh-oh, look who's under the gooey grapes. You know what happens when you get caught under the gooey grapes. First try. I also added olive oil and cheese to my favorite little table in the left-hand corner. Another table? Good Lord, you're nearly to the heavens. Whenever you find the owner to this chair, let them know I have it. Periodically add aluminum table to your element. So you want me to add a periodic table element to my table of elements periodically? <laughs> That's paradoxically perplexed, Patricia. How do you know Jerry? <laughs> All right. Only two steps. Oh, my masterpiece! Oh, you know what? We forgot to put olive oil and cheese. That's why everything's breaking down when you don't have a good foundation. Things come crumbling down. I really thought that would have fell too. Lucky for you, I have literally every cheese ever made. Don't believe me? I told you. <laughs> cheese bag. Um, I've already reviewed all of these cheeses. If you want to see my full-on uh, cheese review, you can click here um, in the description because that ain't going. That's just going to pause the video. You can do it. Oh, say can you see? I bought extra virgin olive oil because my girlfriend. <laughs> because <laughs> all of these cheeses have been in the bathtub. 
You thought I was kidding, click the video. Let me just set up these cheeses, I'll be right back. Or you can do an odd time lapse. Up to you. Yeah, it looks like I'm wasting cheese, but the way I use this cheese makes me cheese. Or bread, or m money, makes me money, so I can then give that money to you, and also donate. So, uh, it's kind of a better investment than what this cheese was going towards anyway, which is straight to the toilet. I can't wait to show my girlfriend this. Oh, she's gonna be so grossed out. Happy, I mean, can't really tell the difference sometimes. Craft. This is a lot quicker than when I did it in the bathtub. Boom, that's literally every cheese imaginable. I bought half hearty cheese. I'm gonna use all of it, because we don't do anything half hearty. Yeah, I bought it because of the pun. Shut up. I've never tried Havarti cheese. Still have it. I also bought baby Swiss and aged Swiss so I can tell what it's gonna taste like when I age. Boom. I also, sorry, I thought you were up there. I also added a favorite small table in the upper right corner. Stop it. That is a four tier butt bootery cake. I said what I said. Your files are well synced here. Would you say that they're in sync? Hey, nothing but a cheese play. So you're right. I got all the meat display. Tell me why. I know this is Backstreet Boys, but I made a 4 2 k Yas. As you can see in the picture above, I added nuts and skin. Oh. I always thought it was shirts and skins, but all right, I'll be skins. Jerry, my hat's in my shirt. I gave in and added cheese. Yeah, like nine steps ago. Use our strange dangly sour butter. Our? You got a mouse in your pocket? I'm sure he'd love all this cheese. What the heck is dangly sour butter? That? <laughs> Looks like normal butter to me. Oh, huh. I let this sit in my truck for two days. Shall I partially chop the butter as well? Ooh, that's not a good butter. I'm gonna sit. Jerry, you mind if I sit? I'm sitting. You put a nice cheese on the table. You continue to put nice cheese on the table. I added a hot puppy to the bottom and cut it in half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, a hot dog. Ha, that's not how you say it. Put the knife down, Jerry. We're talking about hot dogs. How well do you know your breeds of hot dogs? What breed are you? Watch the bay leaves. Oh, she ain't going anywhere. Okay, she's recovering. Yeah, you're on the cheese table. I hate it when bay leaves, but I love it when she go uh, um, gets out of here. Go goes away. There's only one left, and that's how your heart should be. One bay, unless you're polybamorous. Fill in the gaps with. Don't say it. Let me guess. Cheese. Wet cheese. Gross. Most of these cheeses are already wet. Jerry, you gotta try this. Good, huh? Hold on, Jerry. Did I get your good eye? Uh oh, hold on. I also got the nape of your neck back here. That's my bad. Yeah, you're gonna, probably gonna be sleeping funny for a bit. What made it much worse? Okay. Now that our boiled meat juice is cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and have a little bit of a taste. Okay, this is what we've been waiting on. That's still hot. In the last step, wine a bit. How about a lot? How about a mega pint? We know what goes good with wine. Cheese, nuts. <laughs> wine, cheese, and nuts. This is it. Now I'm gonna go get my girlfriend. Could have used the wheelchair, but I'll just carry her because of my uh, man arm strength. Uh, and then we'll try it. She'll be happy. Boom. She'll probably want me to marry her. It's a thing. It's a big thing. I'll be back. And open them real wide so you can see all that I created for you. I made you a charcuterie board. Baby, you made me a charcuterie chair. <laughs> it's four stories tall. I'm bored. <laughs> Did you get this chair? Yeah, it was it the- I'm really hoping it was a miracle. <laughs> well, it was a miracle like a hundred years ago or they died. Hey, get it some of that Vaseline. Why is there a Barbie vanity? It's just an extra table. There's. There's so many wieners. <laughs> By the way, all the meat is boiled <laughs> for texture. We're married. <laughs> you're so good at so many things, babe. And you're so bad at this. Could have stopped at so you good. You could have just made a charcuterie board. I made you four charcuterie. <laughs> we are not kidding. I'd get on one knee, but I don't want to dig my knee into the cheese in the floor. She loves it. 
I love you. And I love you. Eat this, Jerry. Babe, is that my Vaseline? What? Well, that's it. That's Google Translate. If you want to see more Google Translate, don't worry, your massive stack of Table Jack cheese. I made a playlist. Everybody, yeah. Try my cheese play. Yeah, yeah. I know this is Backstreet Boys.